Okay, so what we're looking at here is the power pack that we use to charge the uh, camera if we are working indoors and we've got a plug unit available for us to plug in. This is an old JVC box. It doubles in function. It is both a charger that you can plug in to power your camera, or rather a, a, VL, a VCR that you can plug in to power your camera, but it also functions as a battery charger. These are different batteries to the batteries we are using as we don't let you charge the batteries. Batteries need to be drained and charged properly and our technicians do that for you. So there are three buttons, an on off button, and then you choose whether you want to VC or power your camera or charge, charge batteries. So you will always choose VC or. There are two leads on the back of this, a standard plug lead which we will plug into the wall and then a DC input connector. The DC input connector has four little holes on it which will plug into the four prongs on the camera. I'll show you those momentarily. It also has a release mechanism when you want to take it out of the camera. I would always recommend with these packs that if you are using the power pack because you know you're going to be shooting indoors, please also take an extension lead when you're booking the equipment. This just means that you can plug the extension lead into the nearest available plug socket you can then plug your camera box into this. And what I like to do for safety, I put the camera and tripod over the box. So you can see that around here, the only cable that's interfering with the area is this blue extension lead cable. Generally, we would put a bit of masking tape to stick that to the floor so nobody's going to trip over it. We then get our DC cable, which we looked at momentarily, or moments ago. And you can see up here, we have a little four prong DC input on the back of the camera. So this is gonna go into that, okay? So basically, slots in, clicks into place, and when you want to release it, you've gotta press the release button and take it out from there. So we're gonna power up our power pack. We turn on the power switch here, and we make sure VCR is selected, not charge. If charge is selected, you will hear the following. That's basically for charging batteries. We don't want this unit to charge batteries. We want it to power up the camera from a power point. So hit the VCR button instead. And if we come up here, you will see the power options. If we can come in on that, please, Maeve, just a little bit. So here we have our power on off switch. As soon as we power on, a blue light lights up here. You can see our Lens is starting to adjust and we know we have power when we see this blue light but also on the screen here if I pop it open bring it out 90 degrees and 90 degrees only rotate it 180 degrees and push it back in and then take my lens cap off you will see that we have a full color screen on the camera that shows whatever the camera is pointing at. I'm going to move it around there so you can see the reflection on the LCD screen. Now that screen mirrors exactly what you see in the viewfinder in here. Same color image in the viewfinder. This is generally for your director to be able to stand by and say I like that shot, I don't like that shot. This primarily is for the camera operator to have his or her eye up close to it seeing exactly what they're filming and being able to adjust accordingly as they go. One thing I'll ask you to remember here, these little lens caps are very, very expensive to replace. So as soon as you take your lens cap off, can I ask you to put it into the camera bag for safekeeping so that it doesn't get lost. So I'm just gonna throw this in my camera bag here. So we have powered up. What's the next stage? The next stage really is to look at sound. So let's look at the sound options available to us. 